Good morning. It is about 6.15 in the morning and the reason we're up so early is because this is our best shot that we've seen so far of the Long Tong peaks. Now it's still just a little bit cloud covered but what we've seen throughout the day is that your best viewpoint is in the morning and then it kind of clouds up to the rest of the day. So this is a zero day in terms of uh, distance. We're not actually going anywhere but our goal is to hike the ultimate goes to hike to that peak, but there are a few sort of high points along the way. So if it, for example, the weather turns bad, we don't make it all the way there. There's a number of uh, cool bragging rights spots that you at least went so far up that uh, that ridge there. But at the top, that would be then the ultimate goal to get up there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But that is our best look, as I say, of Lantong. And I can see ice glacier, obviously snow all over the peaks, and it looks pretty epic from here. What do you guys think? It's cold. It is cold. <laughs> How's the view? Good. Yeah? Nice, nice view. Nice glacier. What well, do you think, Cal? Uh, totally worth it to get outside early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. hopefully it'd be great if it just gets better all day, but the uh, <clears throat> general flow of it's been that this will be our best Best our time. best shot. Yeah. See, you, know, you think the mountain's cool? Yeah. yeah it looks nice. That's Long Tong, right? Yeah, that's Long Tong. That's it. That whole area right there. And then out here, just off property, kind of get an idea of what the little valley looks like, at least from where we're staying. Oh, yeah. It's just so blue compared to what we've seen thus far on the trip. Lots of... Lots of rocks, of course. Like a rock field. But... It looks beautiful in all directions. So we, we really weren't able to see even this ridge over here the last couple of days has been so cloudy. So the fact that it is what it is, it's really great. So again, here's where we're staying. And that is Long Tong. Totally worth it to come out here and see this. Even I can see a stupa up there. There's another glacier. So I've got Long Tong here and this other glacier to the right. Yeah, what a great day and beautiful scenery see that cloud i mean the clouds are already rolling in yeah that looks pretty great all right we'll head uh inside try to eat breakfast quick i mean now that we've seen that there's less pressure to kind of get up to that peak before it clouds over because we know it's going to cloud over so we've seen a really nice view it'd be great to get up on top and have it be at least this clear, if not completely clear. That would be the total dream. So, all right, we'll head back in and head to breakfast. Pack up a really light little uh, rain gear type pack with water bottles, and then we'll start the hike to see if we can't get up onto that ridge. But that is the best shot we've seen thus far. All right, so it's now 7.30. We have breakfast. We have all of our gear packed up to do our attempt at this summit peak up here and just like that the weather has completely blocked out the mountains so we are still cautiously optimistic that this will all burn off by the time we're up there but who, who's to say either way it'll be a great hike so one of the best things i'll add about the nepal hiking team is the support staff so right now Aju and our guide of course will be with us all the way to the top but we also brought along um, Namros, and Namros is going to be sort of support if any one of the kids needs to turn back, he'll help guide them down. So that's just one of the advantages of having guides uh, like these guys to help support. That way, if you know we were here solo by ourselves, if any one child needed to turn back, we'd probably all come back. So having the additional staff and help kind of gives us more flexibility with our options and what we do. But boy, it's just a difference one hour makes in terms of the visibility. 
Alright, so we're working our way up towards the peak here at Kinzing Re. Still a long way to go, but you know, one step at a time. But I was curious, you know, our original plan was to go to the Everest Viewpoint Trail. So not all the way to base camp, but out to the Everest Viewpoint Hotel, one stop past that. So I would just be curious, uh, June, as we are here at Long Tong, uh, how does this compare to the trek we would have done at the Everest? Okay, so the trail is completely different. Yeah. Uh, in every season, the trail mostly like stairs, okay. steps, and a bit busier with the animals. And then uh, there is not much forest we walk through, but here, two days in a row, we walk totally through the forest. Yeah, that's in another video, jungle, beautiful. Yes. And then if you compare with the wildlife animal, it's totally different mm -hmm. because the red panda mostly not available in every season. Right. And then, uh, but if you compare that, the trial gaining elevation okay. is quite a lot in here because we're starting from 1,400 meter elevation. Okay. And then in Everest, we start hiking by 2,800 meter elevation. Okay. So that is quite a bit different. Okay, so yeah. this would have more elevation gain this trip. Yes. The, the, the Long Tong Trail yes. that we've done this yes. far. Okay. And then our plan in Everest was until 3,800 meter elevation okay. and then we're coming back but here 3,700 meter elevation but we're also going 4,300 meter hike up to the hill. Today, today. Yeah. right now. Holy cow, that sounds like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well good. That's just a little comparison between the two different yeah. uh, trails. And so far we have been uh, very happy with the long time experience. It's beautiful. We have not had a lot of other hikers. There's been a couple, like yeah. kind of trickle, but we've not been in any sort of like conveyor belt line at all. It's been pretty much the trail to ourselves, which has been pretty great. And we're all just sort of, oh, we're all just sort of chilling. And the next big push, I keep hearing like a noise. I'm like, is that Forrest crying from the hotel? But no, I, I don't think so. All right, that is where Forrest is in case you were wondering. So we made the decision to leave Forrest. Oh, look at that. That's not, Come on clouds, that's burn That's not up. a mountain yet, so mountains. That's, behind that's behind, the, okay, so. The white one. Oh, it's clearing. It's clearing. Yep. Okay, so just as a, is the, that's not the Long Tong Peak yes. though. That is Long Tong. Yes. yes, we can see it. So some sort of peak here but long tong that might be our only view on this trail but we'll take it because that looks pretty epic yeah wow and this fox definitely gonna go away and we'll see better view later Ooh, yeah. come on baby burn baby burn as they say yeah. look at that blue skies up there yeah. and there's the moon even we can see some of those mountains oh look at that there. Man, just that fast, it opens up. It's unreal. The town's visible now. Oh, and there's the town, yes. I, I mean, I'm telling you, 30 cafe. seconds ago, that was completely socked in. I cool. The bakery cafe's recipe yeah, that's great. You guys like it? Imagine hiking up that mountain. That yeah. incredible. Well, you could someday. Not, not with me, but, you know, in your life. <laughs> wow. Namras, that's cool, yeah? Good view. <laughs> yeah, that's epic. Wow. Okay, it's total blue. That's getting even better. Long Tong Peak, here we come. <laughs> Waiting to see you. <laughs> Maybe another another life, but who's to say? All right, so we are at one of the kind of a official, unofficial rest points. We got this big rock cropping, but the town view, at least from our eyes, I don't know if the GoPros catch it, any of that, but it looks pretty cool with the fog or the, the mist. You can really see the rock croppings from here. The river goes way out in that direction. So if uh, if all goes well, that'll keep burning off. And we'll have some pretty epic views along the way, wouldn't you say? I think so. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. So Snacks, Cedar, and Granite are splitting a Snickers bar. Uh, we just grabbed those at the uh, Tea Hut. And I'll just show you in the bag here. We have... Yeah, Forrest is fine. So in here... Just a little bit of clothes. We bought two Snickers bars, which is the, all they had. We bought four packs of these little Oreos. So not like that's gonna be super calories or anything like that, but it is something as a little motivator each stop. Like, okay, here's a half a Snickers bar. Oh, here's a little pack of Oreos just to kind of have something sweet and yummy to enjoy while you're hiking. All right, well, we'll continue pushing that direction. So you gotta catch those views while you can. And that has opened up wonderfully without any sort of uh, fog 
and you can see where the water the river just opens up expansively over there very cool the sun's getting brighter which is making us all very excited to keep going up the mountain the, again you see those little peaks like that and you see the town and it is certainly a motivator to uh get up to the top so we'll keep on uh, heading up but this is a very rewarding uh, experience and we're not even uh, like a quarter of the way would you say or no no it's like 50 percent, more than 50 percent. Oh, about half yeah. over halfway oh, even yeah. better yeah boom That's baby cool. let's high five that yeah what? we're over halfway 50 percent. boom can we do a high four i don't know uh, one two three yeah <laughs> epic stuff right there so we are getting closer and closer to the summit of kinsingry we've actually come across our first uh prayer flags Tibetan prayer flags so this is to me is indicating like okay we're, we're getting uh towards the end you got a big huge rock carrying out there what do you call those those uh stacked rocks oh that's uh, just for a good luck someone is uh, does it have a name uh not really okay so we typically call those rock karens yeah okay i don't know so if I think there's that's a similar basically canadians uh, uh faith that, yeah uh, they creating it for good luck i see yeah. i see boy that's out there yeah. <laughs> You'd really have to like scramble around the side to get out there. But I can see some more flags up in the distance and we're definitely in a steeper part. Uh, you know, it's, it's a bit sucked in, but again, it keeps being sucked in. Good view, not good view, good view. So I can now like sort of see the town through the mist. The peaks are starting to come out. And I mean, even just within seconds, I mean, just as I'm talking, this is getting better and better and better. Awesome. Wow, so just in the seconds we recorded, it's so much clearer. So amazing. This is awesome. Look, it just keeps clearing up. Ah. Wow. Just what uh, what elevation do you think we're at right now? Uh, or what's the, the, the summit? I that should would ask. be uh, 4,300. 4,300. We are about 40 to 50 almost. Okay, so we're getting there. I see the end. Oh, yeah, yeah there it is. Okay, just up, 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 and up, 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 right up there we're going. Cool. Very nice. So now you can see a very clear shot of the valley. I see a few stupas down there. It's kind of the same ones we've been seeing, but from this angle now. Wow. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, here's our clear shot yet. Oh, look. Uh, long tongue. So our very good shot of long tongue. Those flags are where we're going. Oh, yes. So cool. And now look, the town's gone. It's just amazing how this keeps uh, fluctuating. Okay, okay. Just a little more and we're gonna get there. Yeah, within a second, town's gone. Long Tong's gone. Our end point's getting cloudy again, but these peaks are out and now those mountains are out. This is such a cool, cool experience. All right, we are at the last push just up this rock scramble. It's a blackbird flying around. Everybody's coming up. But the one thing you notice is the smell. It's a sweet smell, like so, cinnamon cookies or something. So this is a special incense, only finding in Himalayan region, somewhere in Himalayan ah, region, yeah. in Nepal. We call that Sunpati. Sunpati. So local people around here, they collect it and they use it as incense. I see, so they, they do they dry it and then burn it? Or yes. do they, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a noticeable sweet smell to the air. So do not smell that a lot. Granted, sometimes that might be cases of headache because some, some people are not used to it. So, uh, uh, uh. yeah. Don't inhale too much. It might give you a headache. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look, we should get up there. Yeah. John, John, it's clear. Go, go. Come on. Blue sky. Blue go skies. Now it's the moment. It's the moment. Come on. All right. So just up around the corner. And we get there. Only a few more. All right, so this is the the last rock scramble Oy. to get to the top, and it's clear. So as soon as it's clear, you got to kind of go because it may not be clear again, or it could be in a few minutes. But you can see everybody's coming up. Oh, there it is! Look at that. There it is. So clear. This is the, this is it. Gotta watch your step though. Certainly rocky. 
You got it, Granite? Yeah. Okay. Yo. All right. Oh, there's a lake. Uh, okay. We're here. Officially. Uh, we made it. Uh, high five that up. Boom. The top. Oh, long tongue's out. Just barely. Right up there. Wow. 14,104 and four feet. I do believe our first 14,000 foot peak, certainly the kids. Wow. The top. Got pretty good, pretty good views. And any minute it could get completely socked in or it can be completely clear. Wow, touch the pole, boom, officially done. So now within just the minutes of being up here, long tongs popping back out. You can see the lake, all that rock. High up. Very cool. Cedar, yeah. your first 14,000 foot peak. How does it feel? Very tiring. Yes. Sense of accomplishment? Yeah. Good girl. I'll do it one time. Yeah. Because it's a very long hike. Very long hike. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud that you stuck to it. Boom. Well done. Granite, you too. Boom. <laughs> All right, well, we'll probably have a little reward of Oreo cookies while we're up here. What do you think, Cal? I think so. 14,000. We'll 14,000. Yeah, I love that, that was awesome. Look at that cool thumbnail right here, maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Maybe we'll the kids as well. But either way, we'll enjoy it. It might even clear up, or who knows? Yeah, we'll enjoy it while we're up here. Yep. So, just as we're snapping photos of our summit, you can really see mountains are just popping in and popping out, but it is. Gorgeous. I mean, just a second ago, this was all open. It's completely filled back in, but the very rapid changing weather, very nice space to be. All right, so this is by far the best shot we have of Long Tongue this far, completely clear on the peak. You can see Glacier and this entire ridge line. Wow. And what's the elevation up there? Uh, 7,200 meters. 7,200. Yep. Incredible. Wow. And now it is just blue skies. Fantastic. Let's see what the valley looks like. Oh, it's a little bit still kind of socked in, but you can kind of just off the edge, see the town down below. But all the prayer flags. You guys quite want your... something. Yeah, quite something. Wow. Should we uh, bust into the Oreos, guys? Yeah, Granite's getting bust. Oreos. Oh, you're getting them out, good. Here, Susan. Well, thank you so much for getting us up here. You're welcome. That was very nice. Pleasure. And Namras, thank you so much. Uh, Dandavat, getting us up here, getting us motivated. Wow. And just with the ever changing weather, very nice. Very, very, very cool. So as you hike, I mean, we got to Lower Kinsingry. That's the big peak that we were at, and that's going to be sort of our end point. But you could, if you wanted, continue right up to Upper Kinsingry, which is Another, you said, uh, Ajun, 300? 300 more up. 300 meter more of elevation gain. I think that's out of our cars for just for today, but I did want to come over to this side just to sort of give you that viewpoint of where we are, Long Tong up here, right down the valley. And you were saying that if someone was going to hike Long Tong, this would not be necessarily the route. They would be no. going... Going through that valley. other side of the lake, yeah, and then Long Tongue Base Camp would be there somewhere in the. Cliffs. Okay, okay. So in the clouds, there is the Long Tongue Base Camp. And how long from base camp up is the trek typically take to go well, up Long Tong? They normally have a three camp, I guess. Three camps, okay. Base camp, camp one, camp two, and then submit. So three days. What's the success rate up there? Is it pretty good, or is it? Uh... Well, not a, quite a lot of people are submitting it, but. Yeah, quite a lot of people are succeeding. Okay, so those who choose to come, and is that because it's just not high enough to be on people's radar? Or? Yeah, and then 
it's quite a bit technical. I see. And because people are doing expeditions, they somehow want to make their record yeah. like 8,000 or so Yeah, I see. probably prefer to climb 8,000 plus. I see. Climb. So this is just under, and what's this one again? Uh, 7,200. Ah, <laughs> come on, just a little more. <laughs> yeah, come on, slacking. All right, well, again, we'll just enjoy the view for a while and then we will leisurely make our way down. I know the kids are looking forward to some Oreo shakes at the homestay or at the uh, tea house. Tea so, house. Yeah. Just like that, we're just right back into town. We're meeting with a couple of our little uh, yaks. Got a few yaks. Wow. So what did you think of the whole trek, Cal? That was awesome. Yeah. That was really amazing. It it's so cool to be able to do something that we love with our kids. Right. And even in the beginning, you know, there's a little bit of like, oh, we, we don't want to do it. We can't do it. And now that they've done it, of course, the reward of doing it is like high on their mind. They're right. Yeah. Up high in the clouds right now. So cool. Yeah. Cedar, she didn't want to do it or she didn't want to start it or finish it or she sat down halfway through the trail. I was like, I think I'm done. I'll just wait for you guys. I'm like, no, wait. That's not an option. She's like, it's okay. I'm like, no, it's not an option. We're just going to go. And so, so we just kind of focused on making like little small goals along the way. Yes. And then um, before we knew it, she looked up at one point and the sky had cleared and she goes, oh, I've got to hurry so I can see the view from the top. And I was like, yes. Yeah, 14,000 plus feet. That's incredible. And now we're all back and we saw Forrest. So Forrest is coming to meet us. So let's Ooh. go catch up with him, huh? Is this the way? It's, it's either way, I think. This way. This way? Okay, we'll follow <laughs> you, Arjun. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Forrest collected flowers while we were away. I love you. So sweet. You know, it's one of those things we debated bringing him up with us. I think it's better that we had not. So he had a full day to relax with the guys from the tea hut. And uh, now he just gets to play around. So a good leisure day. We basically have the rest of the day off to just hang out at the house. Uh, there is a, maybe a monastery I want to check out. Uh, but beyond that, we just are going to enjoy being here. Yeah, it'll be a great day. We'll, we'll touch base with you throughout the day, especially as food comes along. But yeah, right now, all these guys are great. Whoa, that a bone. Bone. Maybe cool. you can make a tool out of it. Nice bone. After the long, hard hike, our rewards have arrived. Yak milk Oreo shakes. Yes. How do they taste? Good, good. Delicious? Forrest, do you like it? You worked pretty hard this morning, I yeah, think. Yeah, no, just, just goat, goat mountain right here. The just, cold mountain. The cold mountain. And now you're drinking a yummy, kind of a frothy yak milk Oreo shake. Quite delicious. What did you guys think of the hike? It was tiring. Tiring? Definitely doable. And hot. Yeah, and hot. Yeah. Of course, wasn't actually out there with us, but that's okay. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy the views? Yes. Yep. What was your kind of favorite part of the hike? The snow. The seeing the snow mountains? Yeah, good call, Cedar. What about you, Granite? Hiking with the dog for like two minutes. Oh, yeah, there's a little dog out there running around. That was a good time. What about you, Cal? Favorite part? I think just being up on the summit with everybody. Yeah. Checking it all out. Yeah, the I'm with you. Was Family family time yeah but we had the perfect weather too it was perfect because it was cool cold cold windy but sunny and, and then bright clearish. and beautiful yeah yeah uh, that we was had really, great views up there today a really nice one Yay. cool so the the big reward the yak milk oreo milkshake with the big old oreo floating on the inside very frothy <laughs> granite where'd yours go in my stomach nice <laughs> just right yeah. go cool. All right, here come my uh, black coffee. Here come our rewards. If it's not strong, you tell me. I put more okay, coffee. Okay, no, that looks perfect. That looks good. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, very nice. Good, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, and now it's gone. Oh, gone. <laughs> Do you need a spoon? Ah, oh, man. Again, the fact that this um, Namaste guest house uses fresh milk, yak milk, versus the powdered milk we've had at other places, man, that's tops. It's really good. So, black coffee. Yes, sir. That. Hits the spot. Ooh, and just like that, lunch is served. We have a variety. Granite, you want onion pizza? Yep. Yak cheese, onion pizza, veg momos for me. Potato, actually. You want this one? No. Kelly, you got the veg soup. Yeah, the vegetable soup. That looks delicious. Vegetable noodle soup. Forrest went margarita pizza. Mm -hmm. And Cedar? Oh, it's so good. Is it? 
The chicken soup. <laughs> yes, I knew you'd like that. Want to try some? I'll have some in a minute. No. But either way, just a look of the spread and. Yeah. yeah. Seasoned potatoes in there. Quite delicious. I'll dip it in some uh, chili sauce here in a minute. But uh, yeah, the food's been really good at this place. Yep. Yeah, I'd absolutely. Say so. What a great day to kick it off with that hike that we had this morning. A relaxing few hours back at the tea hut. But now we're here. We're here. At the yep. monastery, the stupa that's in town. The monastery is closed, but it is kind of fun to come up here, walk around. Let's take a one little trip around the stupa, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Yep. All right, guys, after okay. you. Clockwise. Oh, there's the bell. So kind of a cool journey around the stupa. There's a yak right here. Wow, you can see all the flags. And again, the monastery up here, the lady who just rang the bell. And as we remember from before, we go clockwise, clockwise around these. So cool, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Good day over all in all? Yeah, great day. Great day. Great day. Lots of sun, lots of hiking. Lots of bugs. Lots of bugs. <laughs> lots of yaks. Lots all of yaks. Right. Well, again, if you have the opportunity to hike the peak, absolutely worth it. We just had dinner. It was very delicious. And I'm here with Sharap Taman. And Sharap, your mother yeah. and father own the homestay. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of, of the homestay, kind of from your experience? About this village? Yeah. Here, like, this village just started around 30 to 33 years ago. Wow. And that time, like, my father's elder brother, he started running hotel. The first, first person is my father's elder brother. He okay, so one of the first tea houses first tea was started house. by your yes. family. At that time, he just not at that time the house was not like this. Only the small house was covered by like wood, just okay. wood and no bed only. Oh, wow. Some like mattress and we have to sleep on there foreigners. Slow by slow, then like after four or five years, then slow by slowly people get getting knowledge about the tourism. Then tourism start coming. At that time, like in a day, like three, four tourists used to come. Would it, the tourists that came, were they mostly uh, like European or American or was it a Mo blend? Here, most of the foreigners are from European. Okay. Mostly from German and France. I see. Then US. Then like or the rest of the other countries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But okay. more than like 50%, I think German and French people. I see. Yeah. And then, so you grew up basically around the tourism and uh, the tea house experience yes. hosting yes. like uh, travelers. Yes. And now when, so in 2015 yes. was the earthquake. Yes. And how did that affect your, your family? Here, the earthquake affect a lot here, like lots of people died, lots of wealth is destroyed, lots of money, lots of people, and lots of... All. In this village, like nearly only five to six people died, but all the house was destroyed. Okay. And that was like, at that time, there was no concrete house. Right. Only like made up of like steels. Okay, okay. That was house. And all that was rooftop was carried by avalanche okay. and take away. Then people started making concrete house okay. after the earthquake. And at that time, like, we stayed in Kathmandu around eight months. Just people get afraid to come back because every day, at that time, every minute, every five, ten minutes, earthquake Tremors. start coming. And, wow. and also, at that time, uh, like, we stayed here for one week because helicopter wants to rescue us but it was very cloudy dark and all the mud was in the sky right snow yeah clouds so because of that we could not rescue to Kathmandu for one week I after see. one week then people slow by slowly getting rescued to Kathmandu okay and at that time also there was lots of foreigners who got injured right and local people who got injured we gave the priority to the Injured person first. Sure, injured then, people. Yeah, then we sent them to Kathmandu. Then finally, the we went to Kathmandu okay. and we stayed there for eight months. And then after eight months, did you? Is that when your family came back? Yes, 
Yes. And what was the rebuilding experience like? Like at that time, you know, we don't have any money. Like lots of foreigners, the the person who ever had came before earthquake, they when they get the news about the Avalon earthquake in Langtang, mm -hmm. then they start giving donation to okay. the Langtang people. Right. Then we made a like community group and we open a bank account of the like five six people we gather together okay. and we make a bank account okay and sort of supported each yes, other yes yes and then people start the foreigners start sending the money or clothes whatever they mm -hmm. want and finally like each when after eight months when we came back each family like each house got around three thousand okay. dollars not the person but each house got like three thousand dollars okay that was from like the, for, the government for, yeah, not the by government okay. but from the foreigners i see okay I yes see. they okay. like they help a lot to us and whenever we stayed in Kathmandu, like we stayed in a tent for eight months okay like wow. we, we didn't stay in a house we and that was you your fa your mother and your Everyone, father yes okay not you... only us but all the whole villages the whole village there together. was like a big ground okay and all the people stayed in the same ground with with their own own tents wow. And the food was given by the community again. I the Langtang community. There was so a community. it's it sounded through the tragedy through the tra yes, tragedy tragedy there was yes. a lot of support. Yes, to lots of support. That. Yes. Okay. And then we came here. Then after eight months, then the foreigners start slowing coming. Not like before the earthquake, but it was increasing day okay, by day. Okay, so like tourism yes. then yes, came back. Then came back. Yes. And when did this building start? Because this is a four-story building yes very beautiful concrete yes and how long has your family been building this building i just built this house like around three and a half years ago okay yeah, okay not uh, after the earthquake i have just only small house right. where only my family can live mm -hmm. and i have like four or five rooms where i can keep the foreigners that's all but after then then like you know there is lots of huge competition between the hotels and okay also, we have to forcefully have to make the buildings and all. right yeah then we right. start this building like just three and a half years ago okay and just over that time um tourism has certainly come back but then obviously we had yes covid, COVID and that yes. changed a lot of things and, yeah, and it was two years of yes during the covid it was like very big problem like much pro much bigger problem than earthquake yeah I, I can imagine because in the covid time we can go to Kathmandu. we would know for and not any foreigner can come here mm. and at that time like for two years it was a very big problem. not two years but one and a half year it was very big problem the rest half year like lots of nepali foreigners comes to visit okay London. okay every day like four to five hundred people start coming in the just just before october season wow. okay there was not foreigners but lots of local foreigners that's pretty fascinating so yes. the the local nepalese travelers came and then yes. that was a, a big boost big, to the support yes, yes. the and, economy yeah and this time like it was good like not as good as like before covid but sure as compared to last between the COVID area, two years of COVID, it was much better now. Okay, so this past peak, because we're past the peak season. Mm -hmm. uh, so this last peak season, mm -hmm. how did the foreign traveler number compare to say pre? Before the COVID? COVID? Yeah. Like, let's say, like, I think more than 60% has came okay. like this year. Like, Great. let's say... Uh, uh, before the COVID, it was like 90 95%. It, this time, I think like 50 to 60% okay. has increased. Okay, yeah. and I can imagine the projection for next year is yes. hopefully even stronger. I hopefully, uh, in October season, there will be lots of foreigner because still from now onwards only like I have heard from different, different trekking companies that we have like this much group, like this much group, because they gave information so I think in this October, there will be nice business. Great. So. Uh, yeah, we hope so. And really, our experience here as a family traveling group with the uh, Nepal hiking team has been phenomenal. Thank the you, food sir. is yeah. top of the line. Your mother is so sweet. Thank she you, is, uh, they've been great with Forrest as a three-year-old, even to like, kind of babysit him while we did our trek this morning. It's just been phenomenal. And I will say the fresh yak milk uh, tea. 
the milk tea that's that's the that's the sweet spot if you uh are able to come and again as a family traveler hi highly recommend when you're here that the uh, namaste guest house is uh top of the line thank you so much thank you so much thank and you uh, much i just so. look forward to following your journey um, yes. as uh, the years continue on. We hope to see you again in the future. Yes, sir, definitely. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> cool, it's good, yeah? Thank you.